given a pH of 2.38, we are looking to find the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. The way to go about this problem is, we want to keep in mind that our pH formula is pH is equal to the negative log of our concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. So looking at this, we just want to insert our pH given to us into the equation. So we go 2.38 is equal to negative log of our concentration of hydrogen ions in solution. One thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this negative on the right. So we want to just go negative 2.38, we're pretty much dividing by that negative, equals the log of our concentration of H plus in solution. So now that we have this, now that we have this, we want to do what we've been doing for a long time. We just want to isolate the concentration of hydrogen. It's what we've been doing in math forever. So we want to get this log on the other side. Well, we're going to need to take the anti-log of negative 2.38. It's basically like dividing by log on both sides. So we get 10 raised to the negative 2.38 power. The reason why is because the anti-log the anti-log is equal to 10 raised to the power of whatever you're looking for. In this case it's negative 2.38. So once we do that, once we type that into our calculator, we get we get concentration of H plus is equal to 4.17 times 10 to the negative third. That is our answer from this problem. And in recap, the way we did that was we wrote out our, our pH formula. We plugged in 2.38 because that's the pH we were given. We took the negative from the right side and we moved it to the left giving us negative 2.38 equals the log of H plus. And then we took the anti-log of negative 2.38, which is simply 10 raised to the power of negative 2.38. And that gave us a final answer of 4.17 times 10 to the negative third, which is our concentration of hydrogen ions in solution. One thing I do want to add uh, which I forgot to say earlier. The easy way to do this really is you just take your pH given. So like what I do is I take the pH, I throw a negative sign in front of it. So in this case it would be negative 2.38 and I just take 10 and raise it to that power. So 10 to the negative 2.38 power. Um, that's the in a nutshell way to do it. It's going to be the same every time if all you're looking for is the hydrogen ion concentration. So, I mean, you know, if, if all that it's asking is you want to find the pH of, or the hydrogen ions concentration given the pH, that's all you need to do. You just take 10 and raise it to the negative power of whatever pH you're given.